Hello Aquarius, Aquarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting May 22nd, 2017. And a quick reminder for you Aquarius people, remember, if you are looking to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. That's where you can actually schedule your own session on the website on the main page or order a downloadable video file. So what is going on with your astrology this week? Well, it's all about Venus, the planet of love, luck, harmony, peace, popularity, and romance. And it's moving through your third house of communications. And early on in the week, we've got the moon forming a tight conjunction to Venus in your third house. And this could be a void being filled or a pact or promise being fulfilled by somebody that you are either in a romantic entanglement with, maybe you've been waiting on a partner to finally fulfill a promise or something they said they were always going to do, or this could actually be a friend or a relative showing up with another somebody that they could actually be setting you up with if you're single looking and you put your feelers out there. Either way, there's some good news coming from that. Later on in the week, we do have Venus in this very same area forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in your 12th house, your past, your privacy, and your hidden zone. And some kind of message that we have to share, something that we have to kind of come out a little bit with is not going to sit well with somebody that we've known for a very long time. Um, this could be a situation where you are evolving as a person, of course, you know, we do evolve on situations, we do change our minds, we do reverse our positions when we become better informed. Not everyone is evolved enough to do that when, you know, to, to be fluid. They, they need fixed, they need that stability, they need to feel like that's a foundation of safety. And there could be a conflict that comes up with somebody. Now again, with the 12th house, since you're past your privacy or your hidden zone, this is somebody you would have known for a long time, who's had an opinion of you that goes, all, goes back a long way. You know, this could be a family member, a friend from childhood, somebody you've been working with for a long time. They will get over it. You don't need to hold back, but just pay attention. Don't take it personally if they have to get shocked first, because again, sometimes people really need to have rigid associations. Um, it, it's about certainty. It's nothing personal. For your spiritual advice this week, we do have the card of the Hedge Witch. And the Hedge Witch talks about what we do with our secrets, what we do with secrets, and when we need to decide again to share or not share. Now the Hedge Witch card can indicate that this week you may be finding out more and more secrets about others than you normally would get. You may find yourself being the confidant, or getting private information, or finally getting secrets revealed to you. The Hedge Witch card can indicate here you need to use this information judiciously and make sure that you're not actually going around and blabbing it out and shouting it from the rooftops. However, this may be a situation where as the Hedge Witch you have to be sort of the, the, the one who makes the call if this is something that does need to be shared with another person that it involves or not. Your situation is always going to be unique, but with the Hedge Witch card upright, if you are doing this to right a wrong that somebody else has done or you're trying to protect somebody from a wrong that somebody else is supposed to do, you're going to have to be able to do that in secret. Kind of a 007 kind of situation. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we've got the Eight of Wands reversed. A lot of misfires <laughs> could happen at the office this week. And with the, you know, with the Eight of Wands, it can also indicate um, you deciding to actually slow down um, commencement with some kind of move or some kind of project or some kind of application process you are in because you're starting to realize that a lot of this company, a lot of this project, a lot of what you're working with here is kind of moving against what you were planning, against what you were hoping for. And sometimes that can happen with the Eight of Wands reversed. What can happen is that we, we kind of notice it's not going to pan out or play out the way we could have expected. And the Eight of Wands reversed is saying that you are going to keep your options open for other things. You may actually decide to delay progress or delay here in general. Maybe it's almost time to write a big check. I would advise making a bit of a delay because another option will present itself, something more affordable or at least something we can leverage for negotiation. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we do have the Three of Pentacles upright. This is actually a wonderful card. This could be that other option that we talked about. Again, something else we could actually leverage because the Three of Pentacles does indicate the opportunity or the invitation to join a new team or a new project. Somebody could be trying to hook you up with a new job if you're looking for a new job and the one that you were looking at doesn't appeal to you. 
Or this could be even a situation that comes up where you and a couple of friends or you and a couple of relatives are actually able to drum up some new way to make money or some new way to get this initiative or this aspiration, this ambition of yours off the ground without whatever you were trying to go through on this road. The nice thing is with the Three of Pentacles upright is you are going to have more allies around you if you take this selection. You are going to be well surrounded and well protected and that again may be a better option for you. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Page of Pentacles upright. The Page of Pentacles upright is actually very, very interesting because it does talk about, you know, again, being able to put something down or set something in stone could be a bit of a challenge. And again, I think that we may have to do a bit of a course correction when it comes to our work in finances this week, and this can talk about that. The Page of Pentacles upright, however, does indicate that you need to also be able to accept another person's token of appreciation or what they're putting down to prove their worth or prove their commitment to you. And sometimes we don't want them to prove it. Sometimes we don't want to accept a token of appreciation. We don't want to accept a gift. We don't want to accept a down payment. They may not even need to, but they're going to be doing that to prove themselves to you, and you don't want to turn it down because, again, I think that you're going to be surrounding yourself with some stronger, more capable people, or at least a more cohesive and functional group this week than what you were originally going to line, sign up for. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, We've got the Four of Cups upright. Interestingly enough, love could be a little bit confusing this week because with the Four of Cups, we do see an opportunity for love, but it's almost like you are the one being put on notice to pay attention where you need to give something or somebody a chance. Where have we already dismissed something, turned something down, or completely avoided something for no good other reason than we, we don't know? We don't know if it's going to work. It's not my usual. Well, if your usual is why you're single right now, give this person a chance. You know, because the Four of Cups upright is indicating something being offered to you, something being put on the table, or something that's already there that is coming into highlight, that is coming into focus. And you may actually find that this is somebody who would make a great match. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Four of Cups upright can indicate here, again, there's something that we need to let our partner take a chance on that we're not doing. And it may turn out to actually be better for all concerned. Where have we become too preoccupied with not necessarily my way or the highway, but more like the only way we've known how to be? Whether it's how we're handling raising our kids, whether it's how we're handling our marriage, whether it's handling how we're handling how we live or our home finances, you know, the three cups in this, four, in, this, in this card, which is four of cups, but the three cups here kind of talks about all we've ever known. And we're not willing to deviate from that. Is there really a good reason? Sometimes not. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.